after the briefest of flirtations with walking as a form of transport in my last video, I'm back on two wheels, riding a big heavy black bike. It's not my big heavy black bike, I'm still in Sweden and the Ogre is still in the UK. This is Louise's bike, which I've liberated while she's at work to go on a little day ride. The only purpose is really to get tires to trail and see if I can still remember how to pedal. Because it's been a few weeks and I've got the second city divide coming up when I'm back in the UK in about two weeks time. So I need some practice. As is always the case though, I have picked a point on the map to make the destination for today. So we're heading north out of Simrisham, up the coast, to see if we can find the Preston's bad car, Priest's bathtub which is a geological formation on the coast uh, just outside the little town of Vik. Anyway. This part of the world is probably not what you would immediately think of if I said Sweden to you. And around here it's all rolling farmland, hay meadows, fruit orchards, very little of the rocky outcrops and forests that I kind of associate with this country. But it is very, very beautiful and very good for cycling. You know, up north I guess you get the wilderness thing, lost in the forest, all that kind of stuff wild camping. Down here you get a much friendlier experience. Quiet country lanes, dedicated cycle paths like this one, although this is tracking a pretty busy main road. Lots and lots of little villages, cafes, art galleries. It's beautiful. The local council I know have announced three long distance routes sort of in the area that connect up the southwest and east coasts of this bottom part of Sweden, really. And every day, I think, since I've been here, I've seen fully loaded bike tours. It's been making me a little bit envious, I have to say. It's good to be out on two wheels again. As always, the facts I'm about to bestow on you don't come from any kind of expert knowledge on my part. I did some googling before I left. That said, picture the scene, if you will. 500 million years ago, probably at the bottom of a warm, shallow sea, because that's where everything seemed to happen 500 million years ago. A freshwater spring pushes up through the seabed and creates a sand volcano, which then either fossilizes and collapses, or collapses and fossilizes. Whatever the order, it results in this formation that you see behind me. It's very cool, quite sculptural almost, and it really stands out as something different and odd in this coastline of very flat, slab, geometric types of rocks. It's a cool thing. Look at that, sand volcano. Apparently, in and of itself, it's not actually that rare, and there are a couple of hundred of them on this stretch of coast, but this is the only one which is above the water. So it's the only one you can come and have a look at without diving gear, which makes it kind of unique and very, very cool. Also possibly of interest is that 
every single resource that I was able to find refers to this as the Preston's bad car, except the Swedish Wikipedia page, which says that this actually should be called the Rose Formation, and the name Preston's bad car originally referred to another formation, something different, 100 meters or so up the coast. I don't know what that other thing is or where it is. This is what I came to see. So Preston's bad car or not, it's been a successful trip. I can tick this one off the list of interesting things to see in Simrisham. And I think there's some rain coming in, it feels like. So I'm gonna have a snack and then I'm gonna do a, a bit of a loop inland back home, see if I can beat the weather. Well, I'd hoped I was going to avoid the rain, but I think Mother Nature has other plans for me, so I've stopped here to jack it up. I'm going to do my outro now, just in case the weather gets too nasty to do it later. Um, if you're interested in the rest of this ride, keep watching. After I stop talking, I'll film the last bit of the loop back down into Simrisham. Um, it's been really nice. Uh, found Preston's Badka, that was awesome, and found Forest, which was really good. Me and Louise have quested up and down the coast a fair bit since I've been here, but we haven't really come inland. So it was, it was nice to feel that closeness of being amongst trees after standing by the ocean for so long. Um, it's also really cemented my belief that there's some cracking cycling to be had around here, which I look forward to bringing to your viewing attention very soon, hopefully. Uh, but until then, yeah, that's it for this one. I think, just a quickie, like, subscribe, hit the bell to my monthly Kofi supporters. You are, as always, amazing. Um, if anyone would like to join those hallowed ranks, I'll put a Kofi link down below. Leave a comment, share a video, hit the thanks button if you really want to help support. My next ride will probably be back in the UK. Um, I'm going to be back for a few weeks and I'm going to ride the Second City Divide, Manchester to Glasgow, 10 days. So there'll be some real bike packing coming very soon, which I'm sure you're looking forward to as much as I am. Until then, rain's getting heavier. Back to Simrisham, everyone. See you on the next one. Bye now.